Hey, what is up guys? This is Jamie from Motorkit Central and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of unboxing video. And as you can see, I have the Altison version progressive from the Super Robot Wars original generation series. Now, this is not Gunpla and this is not made by Bandai. This is a Super Robot Wars model kit made by Kotobukiya. Kotobukiya are a third party company that are well known for making busts of Marvel and DC characters and they also do model kits of miscellaneous mecha series um, so as you can see I have of course the uh, old Tyson from Super Robot Wars they also do models like uh, the KG6 Sleipnir from Aldenoa Zero uh, they do a lot of Zone of the Ender kits as well which is not an anime of course but it is a mecha based game and they also do um, mecha uh, anime again which is like Move Love um, of course that was both a game and an anime series as well as Super Robot Wars so they do model kits of all of those different um like different franchise um, so pretty much you can pick up a model kit of like the old Tyson from an old game and this has been adapted into an anime series as well so you can obviously watch um, Super Robot Wars if you really must um, I would definitely say that don't watch it like if you haven't played the games but in a way I can't really say that because I watched it without having played the games for years so I couldn't even remember half the stuff that happened um, so it does seem like a bit of of a mess of a show but it was still cool just because of the whole mech fights and stuff so you can't really say no to that but anyways enough of my babbling let's get on with the unboxing video because otherwise I'm going to drag this on till like 10 minutes and then you know get on to actually looking around the box I don't think you guys want to sit around for half an hour watching me talk about my past experience with Super Robot Wars anyways yeah let's get on with the actual unboxing so before that let's look around the box so as you can see we have Super Robot Wars uh, OG original general Generations at the top, Al Tyson version progressive. Uh, it is a Super Robot Wars original generations model kit, so it does have the symbol here from where it's from. Uh, it's copyrighted. You've got the um, you've got the logo here as well in a sticker form, so it's like a seal to prove that it's a part of the SRW line. Uh, down here we have uh, SRG S042, so it's the 42nd model in the line. Very nice illustration of the old Tyson, which is illustrated by Kaido Yuji. Um, on the bottom here, it does say 1144 scale full action plastic kit uh, PTX 0003C, which is. Um, Obviously, it's a uh, model number, and then version progressive, and then uh, Kotobukiya down here, and then you've got warning choking hazards down here in all different languages. So, looking at the sides of the box, let's look this side, because the other side has not got very much going on. You get some cool poses that this guy can pull off. You can see it's very mob, like it's got a lot of mobility. That was what I was going to say. I don't know why I froze there for a second, but uh, there's a lot of mobility with this kit. There's the kit without paint. Then you've got some information here regarding the old Tyson itself. I don't know what it says because I can't read Japanese, but if you know how to read Japanese and would like to tell me what that says, leave down in the comments below. And then down here, it does say here, uh, adult collectible, not a toy. So this is not recommended to be given to children because this thing has a lot of sharp points. And uh, the kit in general is just very fragile. So I would definitely not recommend giving this to a child um, as you can see this is pretty much the same as the front cover apart from the fact that it's got the item number and the price that this goes for for 4800 yen so it's quite expensive um, for a 1144 scale it is a lot more expensive than a normal Bandai Gundam model high grade however this kit has its um, features that shine over the high grades from Bandai uh, and then as you can see here there are other models in the line the only one that I can actually recognize from here is Granzon I think the other one here is the Gespens Mark II which I believe is a commander type version I can't remember the other two however so you'll have to forgive me for that there's some warning hazards and such on the sides box here um, there is the Sad Onion Looking very, very sad there, unfortunately. Uh, then we've got two barcodes, and then you've got contact information regarding Kotobukiya, so, you know, the people who made this kit. So, you got the websites and their location, both in Japan and the US. So, interesting. And then on this side of the box, it's pretty much the same thing as the other side, so there's nothing really there to look at. So, 
with that out of the way, let's look at the contents of the actual kit itself. So, pulling this up, we have first the manual. So, as you can see, the manual has our Tyson written at the top uh, with just various bits of details of the actual uh, mecha itself. Um, some more stuff down here. Photos are painted for sample products. Uh, shot unless noted. Shown images are retouched and may vary from the actual photo product. Sorry. Yeah, clearly I can't read today. Um, and it does just mention about uh, how, like, um, this is a, a full action plastic kit and it's made by Kodobuki, of course. And then, yeah. And then on the inside, parts guide. So all the runners that you'll be getting from this kit and then just very simple instructions uh, this is not recommended for people who are used to building such things like high grades and 100 no grades um, as this kit is very fiddly I have heard um, it's not um, it's definitely not uh, a kit that you want to be bothering with too often, like too much um, unless you've built master grades and perfect grades then you're probably well enough to build this but I could be wrong I, I've just been reading a lot of reviews regarding this kit so yeah so as you can see standard uh, construction really it's like a one to one fourth of high grade just a little diff more difficult than your standard high grade from Bandai then as you can see we have some uh, illustrations of the Al Tyson there which looks pretty damn cool uh, the pilot Kiosuke Nambu um, the um, anime illustration of the Al Tyson himself a color guide and then you got some illustrations down here black and white illustrations of the Claymore um, launches there and the rear view of it um, and now of course you just got more and more of the standard construction for the actual kit itself so there's nothing really there to look at uh, unless you're actually building the kit and then of course you have the back which um, has uh, the old Tyson just pulling off more poses and then down here just pulling off even more poses that it does in the show as well as the uh, games and then of course which I have dropped Apologies for the squeaking, that was my chair. You have the order form for the Al Tyson as well. So I don't think you can use this outside of Japan, but if you lose a part or anything like that, um, you can just basically tell them which part you want to get from this. And then after that, just send it in and they'll basically, uh, they'll just uh, give you the part, they'll send you the part, which I think is pretty good. Uh, which like for those that live in uh, other countries like the UK or US it's kind of more difficult for us because if we lose a part we lose a part we'll have to buy another kit uh, but for people who live in Japan they can just send us in and get that part and complete their kit so hmm, I guess in a way it's not too bad um, so that's the manual out of the way so let's have a look at the parts real quick um, so for the first bag we have one tree here and as you can see it's mostly consistent of red because this kit is primarily red so that's kind of expected and as you can see here there are the two the two green parts here that are actually painted in for the chest which looks pretty damn cool um, because again Kodobuki are very well known for painting their kits for you so that's why the price is slightly higher for these because there's a lot more detail with them and there's a lot more color separation with these kits as well so that's one thing you've got to praise Kodobuki for is that um, most of their kits are a lot more detailed than most of Bandai's high grade kits. So that's uh, one tree there. It covered most of like shoulders and such uh, in terms of parts. Uh, over here we have uh, parts for like the legs and uh, other armor pieces. On the back here we've got some manipulators, some black detailings and some uh, internal frame joints. So that's pretty standard as well on a kit. And those manipulators are quite big. They look 100 size. Uh, once this kit is completed, it is about 17 centimeters tall. So it's about the size of an F91 kit or a crossbone kit. So it is pretty damn big for a 1144 scale. And then you've got more black parts. Got some yellow parts, which is pretty standard. Uh, because this kit does have some yellow on it too. Um, then we've got the polycaps. You get three... Uh, trays of them so it's pretty surprising how many you need for a 1144 kit when you normally get just one tray of them in a high grade Bandai kit uh, then here you've got um, the black parts uh, more black parts like internal frame parts for like the shoulders 
and such like that and uh, parts for like the upper arms and uh, lower legs such as such um, more joint parts more black joints or grey joints but they are more black than grey so yeah pretty standard uh, you got uh, white parts uh, the revolving stake which is uh, painted in silver unfortunately it is um, <clears throat> connected um, via the uh, no, the nubs are basically going to uh, show up pretty badly, the nub marks, so definitely will have to cover that with a Gundam marker, which I do have. Uh, and as you can see, the eyes are painted here, so that is pretty good. Uh, and then you got the majority of the white parts, and then you got like the revolving stakes, um, uh, revolving part. And then you got parts for like the back skirts, and all that. And then <clears throat> you got two more trees down here, which are the red trees, which cover most of the shoulder parts again. So, yep, pretty standard. And last tree is the uh, two, well, last bag is the two white trees, um, which consist of mostly the arm parts, the lower arms anyway. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for all the components that you get for this kit. So all in all, I think there was like 21 trees for this kit. So there is a lot more trees than Bandai kits, I will say that much. Um, but anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Uh, I can't really cover any more than I've already covered. Um, as um, really the only thing that I can do now is build this kit and then review it. So um, I will eventually review it. Uh, it's just a case of when I get around to building it. And when I do build it, um, that's pretty much when I'll do a review. However, I have no idea when that's going to be, so keep your eyes out for that. But there will be more unboxings, and I do have other kits to unbox. So that's about it, guys. So I'll talk, speak to you guys in the next video, which should be quite soon. So keep your eyes open. So this is Jamie from Model Kit Central, signing out.